Hello and welcome. We to take a look at Walter Payton Football on the Sega Master System. This game was released in 1989. So the game options, you get a password option, which is a little different than most games. Well, in fact, I don't know another game that does this, is that the password applies to exhibition games. There are no seasons, but you can keep using passwords after every game just to track your stats. Even though there's no season, like I said, it just keeps track of all your stats for all your games. Now, it's just team stats, because there are no player statistics in the game. Passwords are 26 digits, though, so it, it's a long password to uh, write down and enter after every game. So I'm just going to go with new game, though I do have a lot of old passwords written down from when I was younger. And here, Monday Night Game is the exhibition, and Road to Super Bowl is a few playoff games. I'm just going to play a single game. Now, Road to Super Bowl doesn't actually let you select the difficulty, and they don't say anywhere what the difficulty is. I think it might progress, though. Maybe the first game is easy, the second game is normal. Because I've been playing different difficulties for the past two days, and normal gets, can be pretty tough. Sometimes I do alright, and sometimes I don't. It's kind of odd how aggressive the computer decides to be. I'm just going to go with easy. So it doesn't matter too much because I say every time I, I kind of struggle when I'm talking. Well, I probably can't talk the whole game 30 minutes straight of football, but I'll just keep it on easy for now. Now, you also get running time in real time. I'll go running time to keep the game faster. That's just keeps the game clock from stopping when you have an incomplete pass. And of course I'll go five minutes. Uh, the teams are simply city names. They do not have logos or team names, no player names. And as far as I can tell, they are all equal, I believe. You know, they don't tell you, it just seems that way. And of course, this being 1989, of course the divisions were a little different back then. And Arizona was called Phoenix, and they were in the East. It's one of the major differences, though now, of course, there are eight divisions instead of six. I'm just going to go with the New York team that would be the Giants versus the Cowboys. Or the team that would be the Cowboys, Dallas. Like I said, no actual team names. And you can see on the coin, Walter Payton is the heads, and the Sega name is the tails. Now I'm gonna kick off. The kicking. You do have to pay attention to win sometimes, not really with kickoffs, but for field goals, so you can, you can angle your kick. But, field goals are still tricky, because you can't... You, you can see where the ball is lined up, whether it's in the dead center or the slightly right and left hash marks, but... It's still a little tricky, and as soon as you kick it... We'll see if we kick field goals in this game, myself or the computer. But, it's just pretty much instantly, you can't block it, it just swaps to the uh, from, uh, side screen to the overhead view. This game is aiming for realistic play as opposed to arcade. So, I'm on defense now and I have the option to call a timeout, a return, and then I've got three versus run plays, goal line. Strong side, strong side and weak side runs, and zone prevent and blitz for a pass defense. One thing you'll notice, my character has brackets around it, 
and the computer ball carrier always has brackets around them. Yeah, in this game, you're incredibly easy to get interceptions on as I just did. So on offense, call timeout, go for a field goal, kick a punt, and there's four plays visible right here. You can flip the plays. The course is to show you kind of where you would throw for each receiver. You want to throw where they'll be at the end of their route, so you kind of aim the D-pad that way. And then you've got a couple pages of plays. Yeah, I took too long, so they just called one. I'm not sure what they're called. It's like a pass. Yeah, you got 12 plays here. And you can flip them, like I said, so... Not really doubling it, but... A little different. Passing this game can be tricky. Because the receivers are often off the screen, you go to throw. And as soon as you throw, it switches you to controlling the receiver. So, if you can't see them, it's a little hard to know what to do, but you have to typically run toward the ball in order to catch it. I prefer to actually run as the quarterback. quite as well on normal difficulty, but it's still often better than some of the halfback runs, because I think all players are equal, so quarterback's going to run at the same speed as the halfback, or fullback if there are any, I can't tell you. <laughs> you don't really label them, just a running back, I guess. I don't think there's ever more than one running back. Probably the most odd thing is on defense. You always control the same guy, so you can't you can't switch. Right here, do I run after the QB? Well, now he's running, but you got to make a choice if you really ever want to blitz. You really don't need to. The computer can handle that. I think the best thing to do is just hang back and go for interceptions. Because if you run at him, he throws the ball, then it's all up to the computer because you cannot switch. Like most games, pretty much, I don't know, any game other than this one, <laughs> at least after this one, you can switch to the guy closest to the ball. But here, since you can't, you know, it's either the computer gets him or you're too far away to get him, so that's it. I mean, you have to rely on your computer teammates to make the tackle. Because you're not going to catch anyone if you're too far away. Defenders slowly catch up to the, the offensive guys, but if they're too far away, it's not going to happen. There's no speed bursts. There's no special moves at all, I mean, you, you just run. Dive is all you can do, but... It doesn't go very far, I <laughs> mean... So, like, an offense, when you're the QB, you can throw, and then the ball carrier can dive. On defense, one button doesn't do anything at all, and the other button is also a dive button.
can break off a really long play. It really requires your computer teammates to do some good blocking. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they kind of run away from you. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just you can wait and hope they block, but like this guy, well, he just stopped and ran, ran backwards. He was in front of me, he could have thrown a block, but he decided to turn around. This is normal difficulty. I'm gonna be moving the ball quite as well. I could probably have thrown an interception or two by right now. And the score generally is very low on the higher difficulties, at least right now. I put up high scores when I was younger. I've been written down on those sheets of paper in the box. But I didn't write down what the difficulties were or the time I played, like what quarter length, but I probably played enough to get this figured out a little better than I have it now. There could be ways to score easier than I figured out. So I just started replaying the game on this Friday morning. I'm recording this on Saturday afternoon. I've done a few full recordings just because I had some audio problems. But it's helped me learn the game a bit better. Passing it really tricky. One game in particular, I threw six interceptions, and I caught, uh, or I intercepted the computer seven times, so <laughs> 13 interceptions in one game. Alright, they're doing a prevent defense here. Try to run. Wow, see, the blocker stood still, and as long as you touch the other guy, sometimes that's enough to block them, whether they're trying to or not, it slows them down. Sometimes the computer will get very aggressive and just start ramming into the back of your defender, and you can just not really move at all. I don't know if they'll do that on easy, do that on normal. Kind of later in the game, I guess. So it's not every time, but... Boy, when they do it, it is frustrating. It's really, it's essentially holding, is what it seems like. But the game doesn't have any penalties. At least, no pass interference or holding. I imagine you could get off sides, but I don't know, they hike the ball so fast, maybe not. Plus, you're always controlling the middle linebacker, so... You're not a lineman, so you can't really jump off too easily. I was actually trying to there, but I kind of stuck on somebody just to see if I can do it. No, they, they kind of slow you down, I guess. You try to move forward. It's like impossible to jump off slide. I hear you're controlling the returner, but they still fly back. I can't see him. But if the ball doesn't go directly to him, it's, you don't know if you need to move up or not. Yeah, just for uh, a real QB sneak. I won't get anywhere, probably. Wait. It's hard to run up the middle. you can fumble the ball, but I have not seen any fumbles, so I don't think so. I think interceptions are all you have to worry about. The longest run I've had in the past couple days, 
since I started playing it again. It's about 50 yards. That was a lot of two or three really good blocks from the computer. I rarely see that. Interception. That guy fell down before I even uh, had a chance. I think it means he got a tackle. Could be passing interference, but I don't know. I mean, I didn't make him dive. He just flattened out. formation even if you didn't select one. Alright, one second on the clock. Four and a half. Let me try a field goal. He's off to the side of it, but let's see. Just don't know. Wow. That count went right over the upright, I think. The edge. Nope, it didn't count. Okay, well, the computer's not doing so hot. Alright. Now one strange thing, I don't think the game's interception yardage, I guess you'd say, is programmed correctly. And they don't calculate that, but for some reason they put it in your passing yards, I believe. So, say you intercept the ball, the other quarterback threw it 20 yards and you got it. Well, from what I could tell, that 20 yards actually goes on your passing yards. Which of course makes no sense, but it's really nothing they can do. If anyone ever noticed that after they shipped it, because of course you didn't have patches back then. But for a game with a lot of interceptions, that that can uh, really make your passing yard statistic rather inaccurate. So I haven't had too many interceptions in this game. 
quite low so far. This game was the uh, third football game released for the Master System. The first two are Great Football and Sportspad Football. There we go, good block. Sportspad Football, I, yeah, I haven't played either of them, but I think it's the same as Great Football, only it was bundled with and requires you to use the special Sportspad controller. That was a track ball. And then after Walter Payton football, they did at least still Montana football. Of course, it's also a Genesis game. The Genesis released the same year this game did. This game, um, I don't know what time of year of 89 it released, but. games I probably got on the Master System. Well, I was flat and I think they intercepted it. Oh, I caught it? <laughs> I can't even tell. He was laying on the ground, but... It's weird, because the computer guy wasn't, so yeah, I guess I should have seen I am the one that caught it, but man, I don't know how he caught that. It looked like he went down before the block. Huh, maybe on the recording I'll see it differently. So I guess for the time period this is decent game. I mean, I, do the, I came across one review by Game Pro and then I saw you know listing of scores on Sega Retro and it's a rather well liked game when it came out. Some games didn't have licensing yet, though. Well, I missed that. <laughs> I'm not getting back up. But Nintendo did have Tecmo Bowl on the NES. It was made by Tecmo, of course. But that game did have obviously real players, because we all know Bo Jackson's in there. I did play that a little bit, though I never had an NES. That's more arcade style, but it had licensing, which is a big deal. Not sure it would have been quite as popular without licensing. Though. This game, of course, has no licensing. Oh, interception! So, once Madden hit the year after this, 1990 on Genesis, just to compete with EA, I think a lot of uh, companies decided they needed to. Yeah, at the very least, player licensing. Cause even for EA, like the hockey games, they didn't always have full licensing. Like, you might have team names, but not player names, or player names, but not team logos. So, companies were smaller back then. It, sports licensing could get expensive, so it did take a little while to get full licensing of everything in it, you know, like every sports game. Even one teams were, were uh, games were doing that. Not every, not every sports release had it. But a lot of, a lot of games did have um, endorsements. And Madden, I don't know if it sold because it had John Madden on the package, but it helped to have a name on there. If this is Walter Payton and Sega went with Joe Montana for a while. And it's John Elway, he had a game as well. But we could just completely skip trying to make a realistic game. Do something like Cyberball or Robots. Or Mutant League football and, and uh 
Here's another game, like a pigskin brawl. It's Jerry Glanville's pigskin brawl, I believe. Another code. I call pigskin put brawl I might have been it. Oh, it's best if they move they just let me go by. This game does have a decent manual. Most of the Master System games do. All the plays are in the manual. Okay, and that's just a little intro about story. Over in Europe, this game did release, but it wasn't called Ultra Payton Football. It was called American Pro Football. Oh, did he catch that? Yes. I assume, I mean, I don't know if Walter Payton is well known in Europe, but if he wasn't, then people might, well, they didn't know who he was. They probably wouldn't think it was a soccer game, but they may have, so I think putting American Pro and putting the word football. Just the way to differentiate it because Europeans think of uh, what they call what we call soccer, they call football. And the master system was uh, much bigger in Europe, so better. Not too sure an American football game where I do not know. I remember this is 1989 where They didn't have football games over there, and now they play some in the UK, do one or two a year now. There was a European football league at one time, in the 90s as well. Oh, that guy's getting far. Dive tackles aren't really working. Of course, I do have more interesting uh, Master System games. I decided to go with this one first. So I just got the hardware to record my older systems. So I am playing this on the console, not on an emulator. And, um, well, the football season. Started on a Thursday, but the first Sunday of the 27th season, 2017 season is the day I'll be posting this video. I'm planning on doing this for a while, so <laughs> yeah. there's no reason to uh, rush through all my games. I've got plenty of them. No, that's odd. Maybe you can't get me. Yeah, that seems like a mistake. Close to the end zone, it's a bit easier to pass since 
you know, the receivers won't really run off screen. Oh, they can run off screen, but at least you can see the ones you want to throw to. Gameplay videos, I'm not writing blog posts for most of them. I do plan on posting new uh, football reviews from old magazines. I've scanned a few. So while I won't tie into this video exactly, I will leave a link if you want to read some old magazine reviews. I'll leave a link in the uh, video description. There is a Diva review, like I mentioned earlier. I have a Walter Payne review from Game Pro. And I've got a couple of reviews. I mean, there's tons of football game reviews. I just selected a few random ones for what I came across first. So I've got a couple for Madden 92 and the competition Joe Montana 2, which is sports talk football. And I'll toss in it's all Sega. It's also an uh, NES review of uh, John Elway's quarterback. I think it's the name of the game or something like that. Quarterback. Something or other. I <laughs> don't remember exactly. I just didn't have time to really research and get a whole lot of them. Try another field goal to end the game, so see one get made, hopefully. <laughs> I think I missed it again. Wow, the wind I think the wind is pushing in immediately. Oh well. any time off the clock for some reason. Oh, he's going nowhere. The safety. Yep. Okay, get our stats here. Yeah, not too many interceptions though. I guess they didn't throw a whole lot, which is one reason. So these are your offense. Next page is the defense and the password. So these are the stats that, if you want, you can write down the password. You'll keep these stats. And your password the next time you play. And then, it will just total these stats onto your next game's stats. And you get another password. There's the super long password. And that's it, so thanks for watching.